Can we have Jed and Dave Ritzy, please? First of all, I kind of feel it's a Truro Junior High reunion. I got Principal Hale over here. I got uh, I see Bonnie over here, and she was in my class, and uh, also with uh, CEC, I got Keith McKenzie back here too. So it's a pretty interesting uh, group group we have here tonight. Um, my dad, yeah, there's uh, I could tell you lots of interesting stories, but uh, I don't know if I'll make it off the stage. <laughs> Anyhow, um, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, everything that's uh, happened here tonight. Thank you very much to the Sport uh, Heritage Society and their selection committee. Uh, on behalf of the Ritzy family, I am honored to be able to induct my father, Jed Ritzy, into the Colchester County Sport Hall of Fame. Some say you're judged by the company you keep. With where you are tonight, Dad, and with the list of this year's inductees, you're truly in great company. Before I forget, and I wrote it in here, before I forget, we've, we had uh, myself, and I'm sure my dad has over the last couple days, uh, received tons of emails, phone calls of uh, congratulations, and uh, it's, it's pretty amazing uh, the respect that uh, this man has. Uh, in the hockey community especially, and uh, that's why we're here tonight. So thank you very much to those people. Sports has uh, always played an important part in the uh, Ritzy family. Growing up, my brother Jerry, cousin Greg, and I all played Little League baseball or hockey for my dad. At a very young age, we all had a great respect for him as well as a possible underlying fear of him. <laughs> See, I get you. He always demanded hard work and commitment to whatever we were involved in. As well, Dad treated us fairly and taught us to respect the game, officials, and volunteers involved. Even when he was in a position to make the difficult decisions, Dad did what, Dad did what he felt was right, even if that meant leaving his own son, me, off the Banamay hockey team. My, my mother certainly remembers that. You know the old hockey parent. Well anyways, it was a tough host to live in with my, myself and, and my mother being there uh, for probably a good month, month and a half until he called me up to play a game. Anyhow, um, as I go on here, my dad uh, continually encouraged us to be the best at whatever we we do, whether that was with our family, with work, school, or playing sports. He has shown us this through examples of his commitment and hard work over the years at many levels of sports, but mainly hockey. He has served on many different committees focusing on the development of hockey players and volunteers in the Atlantic provinces. From being president of Toronto Minor Hockey, president of Hockey Nova Scotia, to vice chair at large for Hockey Canada, and being the first person for Nova Scotia in 47 years to be elected to the Hockey Canada's Board of Officers. <laughs> Dad was also part of the executive committee for the very successful World Junior Championships in Halifax. He later became chair of accreditation for the World Women's and most recently the World Men's Hockey Championship. Dad was perfect in this role, what I've been told anyhow, uh, they nicknamed him the uh, accreditation Nazi. Uh, no one was able, <laughs> no one was able to get into the limited access areas without the right credentials. Not even close friends or family members. As Team USA's team doctor and my wife's uncle Dennis Sullivan found out very quickly. With his strong working relationship with uh, Quebec Major Junior Hockey League President Joe Courteau. Dad played a key role, but a quiet role, in bringing Quebec Major Junior Hockey to Nova Scotia in 1994 with the inception of the Halifax Mooseheads. This has provided many more opportunities for players to develop and be recognized here in Atlantic Canada. Also, in 1999, he played another key role in development at the national stage when he was asked by Hockey Canada to be part of the first ever Molson Open Ice Hockey Summit that evaluated the state of Canada's hockey game 
with the focuses on player and coaching development programs throughout our country. Presently, my dad is a life member of Hockey Nova Scotia, and with his efforts in Nova Scotia over the many years, he was recognized nationally for two prestigious awards by Hockey Canada. They awarded him the Volunteer of the Year Award in 1996, and he received the Order of Merit in 2003 for his contributions. Last week, I received a letter from Bob Nicholson, President and CEO of Hockey Canada. He referred to my dad as his friend, mentor, someone who has done so much for the game of hockey locally, provincially, nationally, and touched so many parts of the world to make the game better for all its players and volunteers. My father remains involved in hockey today, as he currently is one of the vice presidents of the Maritime Junior A Hockey League, where he plays key roles in developing the brand of Junior A hockey in the Maritimes, as well as administering the policies and bylaws developed by the league's Board of Governors. With all his hockey commitments, believe it or not, he does give back to the community. As he currently, as he is currently, is the chairman of the Colchester East Hans Health Authority and is an active member of the St. Andrews United Church. In the past, Dad has been the chair of the Toro Sport Heritage Society, United Way Business Campaign, president of the Toro Band Auxiliary, and a volunteer coach and minister for many other sports other than hockey for more than 35 years. In closing, in my family's eyes, my dad has always been a Hall of Famer. Definition of a Hall of Famer is someone who is good at everything. My dad is just that. He's a good husband. He's a good father. He's a good uncle, a brother, and most recently a grandfather. But as my wife Amber kindly reminds me, behind every great man, there's an even greater woman. My father... My father is here today because of his love of sport and, his, and the support of his wife, my mother, Betty. Without her continued support, this would not have been possible for my dad to attain such an achievement as being inducted in the Hall of Fame. To many people and to me, my father is a true role model. He is a man about morals, integrity, and respect, something he learned from his parents, my grandparents, Jerry and Mary Ritzy. I hope the respect and love I have for you, Dad, will be something I can pass on to my daughter throughout her life. Finally, I look to you for advice and guidance. More importantly, you are my father, but you're my friend too. Congratulations. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'd like to thank David for those uh, kind words. Uh, I would like to congratulate all the inductees this evening, and I want to thank the selection committee for honoring me in this way. When you look at the at this year's and the past year's award winners or inductees you can't help but realize what fortunate company you're in. It is especially rewarding this evening to be able to share this special time with family and special close friends. I've been involved in sport for a number of years. I've been involved because I loved it. I enjoyed doing what I did. And to the young people that are in the audience this evening, when you live in a community, you have to give back to that community. That is the only way that sport will continue in communities like Toronto. 
So, David, thank you very much for those kind words. And uh, to my wife, Betty, uh, there's no doubt uh, she had to put off many things to allow me to do what I was fortunate enough to be able to do. So thank you, dear, very much. <clears throat> And in closing, just want to thank the Selection Committee and Larry and the Sport Heritage Society for this great honor this evening. Thank you very much. <laughs>